you guys know that instinctual feeling that somebody's watching you or listening to you or there's just some sort of breach in your privacy? Now, those of you that know what I'm talking about, how often do you get that feeling? For most of you, the answer is probably not very often, but it feels like in this day and age, we should be getting that feeling a lot more than we are. And that's all due to these little things right here. One of the last times that this grand old mansion played host to an event that concerning technology it was back in 76, 1876. <laughs> President Rutherford B. Hayes was shown a recently invented device. That's an amazing invention, he said, but who would ever want to use one of them? He was talking about a telephone. A lot of you probably remember back in 2013, a man by the name of Edward Snowden, who was an employee for the CIA and was doing work with the NSA, copied and linked a whole bunch of documents that released a whole bunch of information about the NSA to the public. Some of that information was about the NSA surveillance program that they had on citizens of the United States. NSA and the intelligence community in general uh, is focused on getting intelligence wherever it can by any means possible that it believes on the grounds of sort of a self-certification that they serve the national interest. For decades, ever since telephones had become a common household item, people have feared that their phones were being tapped and the government was listening in onto their conversations. But in 2013, that was actually confirmed. And this invasion of privacy is claimed by the government to be for the betterment and safety of the United States. But has it gotten to the point where it's just too much and it's doing more harm than it is doing good? Now, for many, it caused the scare, but for others, it just, confirmed a suspicion that was already there. So here's the thing, we know that the government monitors our phone calls, can read our texts, emails, anything that happens through the internet, can view us on our webcam devices that we have that are connected to the internet. But I have a theory that big corporations are using advancements of technology that we see in devices like Google Home, Amazon's Alexa, even Siri and our iPhones. And don't worry, I've done my research. I know that these devices only listen in for keywords, which then prompt a buffer, which then sends the information to a server or whatever it is. And that turns on the device to listen to any commands you may give it. But they are still listening. There is still a microphone there that is listening. I've been noticing that on Instagram recently, I may be talking about some sort of product or something just of any sort. And all of a sudden, I will see an ad for whatever it is that I'm talking about. Oh, here's one. And we're getting an ad for GTA because I've been watching GTA RP and I've been talking about it to you. Okay, so we're gonna put this to the test and here's the plan. The goal here was to influence the app to display a product of my choosing. I needed to choose a product that I've never looked up on my phone or any other devices so that we could exclude the possibility of cookies playing a role. But what was a product that I had absolutely no interest in and was so outlandish to the point where I've never looked it up and it had absolutely no business being on my Instagram feed as an advertisement? I got it. What? Vegan food. What do you mean? It's vegan food. <laughs> the whole thing's a punchline. All right, so now that we have our chosen product, it was time to conduct the experiment. Official start time. Right now it's 5.16 p.m. We've been talking about it already for like, what? Five, 10 minutes? We'll just say, okay, so we'll say official start time was like 5.05. .05. So yeah, we'll just start now, I guess. That's when the experiment starts. 5.05 p.m. on Wednesday, March 20th. Now it was time to get to work, which pretty much just consisted of me mentioning vegan food and veganism and stuff like throughout the day. Over vegan, 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 vegan. I wanna go vegan. Vegetables. Tofu? Yep, pretty much just like that. During the first stage of testing, we made sure that the Instagram app was closed down and the phone screen was turned off. It's 10 o'clock at night and we haven't gotten anything yet, so... I think we're just gonna call it for today. I guess we'll just keep trying tomorrow. Keep trying to say the keywords and stuff. It's day two. So far, what time is it? It's like two o'clock. Nothing has popped up yet um, regarding vegan food. Entering vegan, into day two, vegan, we had nothing. Vegan, no ads vegan, were showing up on the Instagram feed, so we decided vegan, to give it a little bit of help. Vegan. Beans. We decided to keep the phone screen turned off, but this time we kept the app open in the phone. I mean, that's still like super creepy if it works. After a few more days, there was still nothing popping up on the Instagram feed. But of course, my dumbass wasn't giving up. And he wouldn't want me to give up either.
Of course I wanted the experiment to work for the sake of the video, but I never really asked myself. Did I really want to be right? Okay, holy shit. It actually like just happened. Oh my God. After this long, 1255 on March 26th. And we finally have, hang on, let me, let me get it up. This is crazy. There's an ad for Light Life, which is, look, it says, a plant-based protein pioneer. Yo, <laughs> we actually got vegan ads on my Instagram feed. I think since it was something that was like so niche, must have taken longer. Just, it was, it was vegan food. Something that like I've never looked up, ne like had no interest in whatsoever, like no offense. All jokes aside, like honestly, I don't like, nothing against being vegan or whatever. But like personally, I've just never had any interest in going vegan or whatsoever. And we just started saying it. I mean, it took way longer than we thought. I thought it was gonna be at most a day or two, maybe, but it took almost like a week. That's nuts. Because we were like saying other stuff and like other stuff that's like kind of related and it kind of made sense that I was getting ads for it. That stuff would pop up within like an hour or so of us like talking about whatever, like X product. This is like, this is actually, this is nuts. The fact that there's actually an ad there. That's crazy. They're, they're, they're listening. They're a hundred percent listening right now, right now. when I'm just making this video. They're listening. They're trying to pick up keywords to advertise. It actually fucking happened. That's crazy. This is nuts. And it's terrifying all at the same time. What the hell? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I've been a little MIA recently. My computer took like shit on me and I had to get some things figured out and I was learning some new editing techniques for this video and stuff like that. So it, it took way longer than expected to get this video out. But um, man, this this stuff is is terrifying and I am not a fan. Guys, let me know if you've experienced anything like this. Like if you've talked about something and have noticed that it's uh, on your Instagram feed as an advertisement. And for those of you that think that this isn't real, like test it out yourself. Like I would almost 100% guarantee that if you test it out and you give it some time, you're gonna see the same results. And from now on, just be sure, you know, when you have your Instagram app open, you uh, tell Instagram because, you know, they're listening, so they'll be able to, you know, they know what you're saying um, when, when you talk to the app. Be sure you tell them to take their advertising and shove it up. All right, well, that's it for today. And you know, it wouldn't be a video about Instagram if uh, I didn't plug my own Instagram. So go follow me on Instagram, at David Gluheich. And you can also follow my photography Instagram if you want to, at David Gluheich Photo. Uh, both the links are down in the description. But yeah, guys, I put a lot of time and effort into this video. So if you guys want to support me, um, I, you know, I'm not asking for like money or anything. I'm not even monetized or anything like that. So uh, if, if you guys just want to support me, by sharing the video um, and letting people know about this this disgusting and despicable act by these big corporations. But um, all right, if you yeah, if you guys want to, uh, if you're still here and you're at the end of the video and you want to subscribe, like just go like, like down here. I think it's gonna be like down here. Just click that button if you want to watch my like most recent video. Uh, you can like click down below me right here and that's it i feel like this end screen is like 20 seconds i think it is so like i just gotta fill this like space until